it's Goldie Dots and, and Kelsey Carnage. <laughs> and we are here to talk to you about some Wiggy Wigs from Geisha Wigs, our lovely sponsor. What are you doing here today, Kelsey? Uh, I've come to see uh, Goldie do her burlesque show tonight, and it's Star Wars themed, so... So I'm going to be a slave for you. We hooked up last week as well. We went to... Well, we did a shoot together first with S.I.S. Uh, photography, photography. Yeah, it was... Pollyanna Rocks and Sarah, and Sarah Robbins. Robbins. Check them out, they're hot. Yeah, they are very hot. <laughs> and then the uh, next day... We did the London Geisha Meetup in Camden and uh, met some really, really lovely ladies, including Maria, who is the lady behind Geisha Wigs. We love you, Maria. Thank you. Thank you. There were loads of other people who are lovely. You might notice that we've got some soft toys with us. This is Pinkie yeah. Pie, um, mm -hmm. who's my favourite My Little Pony from Friendship is Magic. Aww, and this is Rainbow Dash. Yeah. <laughs> Rainbow Dash. <laughs> <laughs> and this is the um, rapey alpaca who you slept with last night, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, but he's so comfy and he kept me company as well. He's a gentleman. <laughs> gentleman. <laughs> so last week I stayed over at yours and yeah. you have got a lovely little cat, Georgie, Georgie. who I was once photographed with. Yes. Um, but she was being a bit of a pain in the ass last week, wasn't she? Well, she's kind of on heat and, uh, yeah, she's really horny. Um, and so she was make making really loud noises and... Sticking her bum in the air. She's gone back to normal now. She's the cute little kitten that I love. But it was quite embarrassing. And she loved... <laughs> but yeah, she's back to normal now. So thank God. First of all, we should talk about some nice wigs. So yes. I'm wearing Strawberry Girl, which is a wig that I was sent um, about three weeks ago. It's been worn a few times, so it's perhaps not in its prime condition. But I still love it because it's my first kind of fluffy wig and it's just yeah, that perfect it's, colour yeah, it's and I've had so idea. many people come up to me on the street and go I love your hair I love it I love it the colour is oh and I totally <laughs> sympathise because if I saw someone wearing it I'd be like I love yeah no hair. I really do love that wig I think I'm going to have to get it myself she loves it I love it we all love yeah, it you, you always go buy, buy it, it. Yeah. yeah definitely, definitely. Go buy it. Um, what one have you got on? Pastel C. Um, I really like Pastel C because obviously it's pastel and it kind of goes from a blue to a purple to a pink. So it's very, um, yeah, it's it's very, very nice. And uh, actually, um, Sophie was wearing it at the meetup and she, she looks really hippie. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, this is also very buy on Geisha Wigs. Geisha Wigs so, on Colour yeah. UK. Yeah. We love you, baby. <laughs> Right, anyway, questions now. We've got some questions that we've been sent because we hassled everyone on Facebook. This is from mm. Neil McCrea. He says, I discovered you in the pages of Poetic Pin-Up Review. How, uh, do you read much poetry and who are your favourite poets? I have to admit, I don't read a huge deal of poetry, but I really like Neil Gaiman's poetry and I'm a big fan of Sylvia Plath. Kelsey, what about you? Um, I don't really read poetry at all. Like, not at all, so... Our next question's from Santana Hardcore, who says, Talk about me and my awesomeness. Well, Kelsey hasn't met you, because you missed your train last week for the Gage Week meetup, but I want to say, I'm doing my burlesque show tonight with you under your pseudonym, Siren Hardcore. Hopefully, you'll be really awesome. Santana Hardcore's also asked us to tell a joke. I... What do you call a deer with no eyes? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Go no on. idea. <laughs> what do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? Dunno! Still no idea! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Santana's got one more question for us, and that is affordable fashion tips and makeup tips. Um, charity shops and car boot sales. And make your own stuff, like customised stuff, chop it up. Yeah, I've got a, a Cramps t-shirt on here that I bought, I, I bought it like this in Camden, but basically they've chopped Just it down. layered it up. And chopped it open at the sides, and it's a nicer shape, so do that. Yeah. What about um, you? Oh, I don't know. Just spreads like, um, gravy on your face if you want fake tan as well that's a good way of getting yeah nice the fake girls tan. love doing that yeah yeah especially in Essex Steve <laughs> Kensley yeah. has asked you specifically yeah um to show your tattoos so you're gonna do that now yeah get your eyes on the screen Steve <laughs> one of my favorite photographers Henry has asked us a load a load of questions I'm sorry Henry we don't have time for all of them but we're gonna stick in a few um firstly he says to you yeah. if you had to choose between being a model a director an artist or a photographer yeah which is what your page is credited as which would you go for and why um I'd have to go for photographer because photography's quite a big deal for me I love doing it I love coming up with the ideas I love planning I love meeting new people and um, it's definitely one of my favorite things to do and I love editing as well so yeah Henry also wants to know 
If you could work with one model, who would it be? And one photographer, who would it be? Um, oh my god. Well, obviously, if you could work with one model, it'd be me, right? Yeah, and, and, definitely. Yeah. But, uh, but we've already done that, again. so... Yeah, um... What's her name? Is it Ophelia Overdose? She's stunning, yeah. yeah. I'd have to work with Ophelia Overdose, because I just love her. She's just, like, hypnotic. When I'm looking at a picture of her, I just can't get my eyes off her. I'm not a perv, <laughs> maybe a little bit, but... Yeah, no, I definitely want to work with her. And photographer, um, I'd have to say I'd like to work with Henry Murphy. He is, um, he is amazing. Because I, 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 I love the pictures he takes of Goldie, and um, yeah, I have to sort something out, so. Yeah, we'll sort something out. Me, I'm gonna do, I've got three favorite models and I can't really pick between them aside from you. It's Amelia Nightmare, Mosh, and Audrey Kitching. I love them. Oh, yeah. yeah, they're my three favourites. Um, but if I was to pick a photographer, oh, obviously Henry and you. Mm. Um, oh, such a, I'm such a lover. I'm like, obviously. <laughs> you. Obviously. Oh, oh, God, this gets really hard. I really love Julian M. Kilsby's work. Um, mm. My all time favourite is La Chapelle. I would love to do something with him, but obviously that's never going to happen because he photographs like Elton John and stuff. Oh, so I need to get really know. famous first. So both Elbas and Cello Chan have asked the same question, which is, which is your favourite wig and why? What about you? I have to admit, my favourite wig, and it never seems to fail me, is uh, Coco Blush, which is mm. the brown one with like the pink di uh, dip dye. So you can make all wigs work to look natural, but that one's the most easiest yeah. one for me, and it's my favourite. It's quite worn out now, but yeah, Coco Blush for me. Although I love Strawberry Girl an awful lot, which I do, I've worn it out and I've felt really comfortable and it sits really nice down my head. Mm. I wore Violet Fades last week, um, and yes. I really like that. But I would say that my two favourite favourites are probably Baby because it was my first wig I got and it's the start of the Gator Wigs journey for me. And also Fondant because I was given that when I shot with I Am Suko Mizubi when I went to see Gator Wigs Maria the first time. That's the first time I met her. So that holds a special place. And it's one yeah. of those ones that when I go out I can wear in the street and I feel really natural wearing it. Yeah. So now we're going to have some questions from Chris Williams who is a close friend, particularly of you, but I know him too. Yeah. He's a lovely guy. and He's done lots of photo shoots with you and he's done he's... a few with me. Mm -hmm. um, he's First question is top three favourite movies. Well, I know what mine are. Beetlejuice, Rocky Horror Picture Show, and The Lion King. Woo! I love uh, Princess Mononoke. Um, I, when I was a kid, I used to watch that. I used to be proper scared because it was, it was quite grim for a kid's film, if you've yeah. seen it. But yeah, that and um, The Thing, the horror film The Thing, the original one though, because the new one wasn't really that great. And also, I have to admit, Disney film Beauty and the Beast, because... Yeah, it's it's Disney, it's Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> Pressing on. Yeah. Perfect date from Chris Williams again. Perfect date. Uh, I'd have to say my perfect date would be going to Disneyland for the evening and, you know, going near the, the Disney castle and, yeah. My perfect date would probably be going to a car boot sale and buying lots of... I've talked about car boot sales before in this as well, haven't I? But you get lots of, like, nice old My Little Ponies and stuff, so that would make me happy. Hmm. I'm a cheap date. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is from Nat Little Spoon Powell, and that was on your page. Mm. But it's about um, how do you make your wigs look natural? Um, I don't think either of us are terribly natural right now because we've got such bright no, hair. No, we've got the funky wigs on. Yeah, um, but I think for me, it's do your makeup to fit your wig. Yeah. Hair accessories or hats because yeah, then people hats. can't see the rooty bits. Um, no. Yeah, and go for the wigs that sit well on your head. Exactly. I would just say what you said, hats as well. I always wear hats with mine um, and no one really tells the difference, if I'm honest. Yeah. Now we've got a question we really like, which is from Emma Rose Smith, who is this... such a little cutie we met her last time in Cardiff. She's, she just looks amazing in every wig. Oh. And she wants to know which Disney princess we'd be. I would have to be Princess Ariel because she's a mermaid and I'd love to be a mermaid. I've always thought of myself as Sleeping Beauty. <laughs> I'm oh. such a beauty, but it's because I'm naturally blonde and because I really like pink. Oh, it's a really and bad, it's not based on character or anything, it's purely aesthetic. That if it was me, I'd want to have long blonde hair and a pink dress. And sleep a lot. We've had another question which is really hard to answer from Tammy Lee Connor, which is, I'm going to have to read this, um, you live in a world with no cameras, no wigs, no makeup, no princesses and no unicorns. How would you make yourself feel beautiful? I'm going to go for a really soppy answer and say, um, beauty comes from within and just be really nice to everybody and, you know, make yourself feel beautiful by, by being a really good person. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, at the end of the day, you don't really need makeup and yeah. all of this stuff to just be yourself. So I just say be yourself and, you know, and in the long run, be a really nice person. 
and smash all the mirrors so you can't see what you look like. Yeah. And then you'll look beautiful in your head at least. Like in exactly. you know, a space princess, you'll feel beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> so I've got a question for you to finish with. Okay. Kelsey, do you lick a dick a day? No. Oh my god, you don't lick a dick a day. Oh, you're okay. so weird. Yes. 